here's a, a good question that uh, and it's it's kind of vague, but I think you could probably take it in a lot of different ways. I'm curious to hear what you say. The big question is, what is the future of the sharks? That comes from Joseph. Like, how how would you define it? Maybe maybe optimally, Drew. Like optimally, what is the future of the sharks? Optimally, you've got let's say let's let's start with this year and see where it goes. Okay, you got 14 rookies that play in the National Hockey League this year for the San Jose Sharks. Most in most in the the sharks. To, um, prospect pool, mm-hmm. they they rate these things, and we get the we get the clips. They rate these things as gone way up, has gone from one of the lower ones in the league to in the top. I think is top uh, seventeen or eighteen. Is what it's got to do with probably yeah. Weisblatt and Co. Yeah, yeah. And Why, by the way, Weisblatt's a hell of a player. You he's, see, he's, you, you see him in person? Yeah, you see him in person oh. in, in, the, in the dub. Um, so the dub, yeah, the dub. <laughs> so it's the cool hockey lingo talk. Um, <laughs> Chell. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> um, he is. Um, they have. Uh, they are building up their prospect pool. It is going to be a, a time, though. I mean, this is not going to turn around in a year or two or three. This is a time that's going to take four or five years. Where you're going to start to see a team that is going to be a team that um, will be a team that you're okay. Now you're starting to see the real tele- the talent. You're going to start to see the teams that. The, the, the players that, oh, okay, he's a good one, he's a good one, he's a good one. But let's not – they've got a ways to go here. Now, let's say they trade Hurdle. Mm-hmm. What do you get for him, right? Well, like, I, I, I think mean, what you want is – you probably, you want either a player that's already been drafted, I think. I don't think you, I don't think you want to trade Hurdle for draft picks. I want to draft. Do, no, do I, I want to get. I want to get as much, many draft picks as I can. But, but would you rather have a, no, no, no. a prospect that's already in a team's pipeline it, that's established? Well, it certainly and, depends on who on who we're talking about. But if you trade hurdle and let's say you get a prospect and a draft pick, okay, and, and then we you, get both. Then you yeah, you make some moves yeah. and you start gathering up draft picks and you yeah. can make some trades. I mean, it is. It's a. It's a. It's a longer, tougher, demanding way to go because. You're asking for patience, again, from the fans, because that's what matters. Right. Now, this team is going to look really different in f- three years. It's going to look really different in four or five years, where those young guys are now established guys, and the older guys are maybe done. Right. Right? So, you know, I, I know it's a roundabout and like where – kind of vague answer and I guess I, I guess the reason I'm being so vague is because I really don't have a great idea where they are and what they're what they're going to be because again how's Doug Wilson right you know that we got we got to understand that too I think Joe will and Doug jr and Tim Burke are really competent in what they do they've been, they've been in the organization for 30 years I right. watched Doug jr grow up for crying out loud <laughs> you know how old am I so they they're very competent. And they have they have they have a plan. I they sat down with us at the start of the year, brought us into the room, and they they told us the plan. Yeah. And it's the only way you're going to get better, and the only way you can improve your team in the National Hockey League. So their plan is in effect. But boy, we you know, could we speed it up? Yeah. The future but is. You can't. The, I think what you're saying though is the future is it's obvious. Yeah. It's their pipeline. Yes. And their pipeline is has dramatically improved. I don't yes. think it was great a no, couple years ago. It was in, it wasn't in a great spot. But this is like why you, if you're going to trade hurdle, it's to improve your own pipeline. Yep. Now, the, the point there though is that trading hurdle, like March 20th, I'm, hypothetically, doesn't make your Sharks team for this year or even maybe next no. year no. better. It makes your team in two or three years yep. better. But that's that's the patience you're talking about. 